Hello and welcome to another episode of In The Studio. Today I'm joined by Becky James, who's going to show us this really cute 3D baby carriage. And she's going to be showing us some really great embossing, die cutting and folding techniques. Hi Becky, welcome along. Hi Katie. Now you've got a very cute little project for us today, haven't you? I have. We're going to make this little baby carriage. Brilliant. Gonna, I'm going to show you a little bit about how to decorate it as well. I'm going to talk about some of the, the bits that we've used to decorate Fantastic. it too. So what are we going to use? Right, well first thing is that it's actually constructed from, to start with, uh, the two sides are taken from circles. Oh good. And um, obviously we need to cut out a section. And it's really easy to do that. Okay. All you do is take your circle, fold it into quarters, cut one of the sections ah. out, and away you go. What I've done as well is just to be aware, I've done uh, a lining as well to it. So, oh, okay. But you don't have to do that. But it's just so that it looks nice it does and look pretty nice when you though. look it looks, inside. It's pretty inside. So, first thing first, for each side, I've cut one with white, uh, in white textured card, and one, and I've used the Bellissima pattern and I've also used a very generic pattern so that when I put everything together I haven't got to think about it being the right way around no, that's and, good. Or whatever when you use it inside and I've die cut these and I'm actually going to get you uh, in a second Katie to emboss this okay. for me but first thing I'm going to do it is does also go to together. show the, the Bellissima range that you don't necessarily have to have a, a baby collection to make baby projects no. do you at all no so I'm just saying, I'm just sticking these down. I'll just put this because I know me. Sometimes I don't have my straight eyes on, <laughs> and when I don't have my straight eyes on, and I try and stick it down invariably. And that glue stick just gives you a little it bit gives of me wiggle a, room, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. I like that wiggle room. Wiggle I'll room. remember that for my when I'm demonstrating. <laughs> right, give that a little rub down. Now the other thing to remember about this as well, when it goes through the embossing folder, what it'll actually do is compress it so it's really well oh, stuck as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is to get rid of my uh, my try my little quarter that I Because you don't actually want to fold the real thing, do you? You don't want to be, you know, folding up. This oh no, 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 no. Absolutely. And the other thing we're going to do with this, which is a little bit different that should all come out nicely there. We're going to deboss. So what you're actually going to see is the um, pattern go inwards into the project rather than coming oh. out of the project. And this, this, um, and then do you know what actually? Some of my dark, my embossing folders, I prefer that way around. Um, and this one is perfect for that because the little hearts are so regular. Okay. Now when we're doing this, what you have to think of is the fact that they have to be opposite each other. Okay. So what I need is to have my pattern. Now I need to look at my patterns and make sure they're straight. So that one's going to be there, that one's going to be there. So that needs to be the other one, the right way around. Okay. And we're going to just tuck that. You can do, you'll sort that out yourself when you're doing it at home, just make sure it's the right way around. We're going to tuck that there. So now normally, if I was embossing outwards, I'd actually have the white side. Because the, the clear bit is the knobbly bit, yeah, if you like. Exactly. And the black bit is the, the, the hole, isn't yes. it? And what, so for this, what I'm actually going to do though, is turn it around the other way. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Fingers crossed after I've done it justice. There Let's bring we go. it over here. That's it. And there you can see it's perfect. Very nice. Now just to carry on, because I've given this a, a lovely, well, you know me, I have to have, I love my inks and my vintage feel to things, shabby chic. So I'm just going to, just to carry it around, a little bit of ink around the edges. What's quite nice as well is, when you do this, is the ink doesn't go in, so you get white, yeah, little can, white hearts that pop out. You can see out. The, the hearts even more, can't yeah. you there? So it really, That's really lovely. defines them. What I've actually done as well is I've cut a strip of card. I've done it exactly the same way with the pattern on the inside and the white on the outside. And this is um, two inches wide and as long round. Now for your project, you have to measure it individually, but as long round to, as to go from okay. this corner to this corner. What we're going to do is we're going to use this to construct. And we're going to work, actually glue it round Okay. And what I've done is I've scored in a quarter of an inch either side and I've just added little, 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 little slits there to be able to do that. Right, Katie, so what we're doing is we're actually just sticking these last little bits round. So you can see we've gone right the way round and yeah. we've got both sides stuck to that 
that little centerpiece. So that is you see our, that's little, really taking shape. our little carriage. So now we're going to just talk, I'm going to do some of the decorating and we're going to talk a little bit about it as okay. well. So the first thing that I've done is, and I've tried to find some sort of pretty little ways of decorating it, but if it was, this is probably more for a girl, but mm -hmm. if it was for a boy, you could add more things like stars and more boy kind oh, of, yeah. of icons and things, but this is quite pretty, quite girly. So what I've done is I've cut a strip here of, uh, again, this is, the papers are all from the Bellissima paper pack. That's and lovely, that little polka dot, isn't it? It is, like I love that. It's a little blue polka dot. And I've used the leafy lace um, border punch, which I love that. That's, That's that one kind of, your of yeah, isn't absolutely. It? So what I'm going to do first of all, I'm going to just go down the edge of this with some glue from my glue runner, and we are going to stick this on. I'm not going around the front. I'm going to go around the front with the ribbon, but it, there's no need really okay. to go all the way around the front. So we're just going to go around the sides. This is really, really easy and quick to do. And then I'm going to add some ribbon round it. Cause, so if you see, before we do the little concertina bit where you, your little buggy would sort of fold down, oh, yeah. we're going to add a bit of ribbon because that's going to sit underneath it. Okay. So I've got a piece of ribbon here. Now, when I, sit, when I actually cut it and stick it down, I'm going to stick it so it's just here because the concertina will come down and cover oh, okay. the join. So Rather than having to try and hide it exactly. somewhere else where you didn't want to. Exactly. So let's just quickly trim that. Right, if you want to quickly just age your ribbon, all you do, get your ink pad and you just roll it through like that. Oh, that's cunning. And that will just quickly age it. And because this is like a gross grain ribbon, it will pick up the texture. Just a little bit. Just a yeah. hint. It's only a hint, but again, it's all the finishing touches. And you know me, I love my finishing yeah. touches. So now I use glue dots for ribbon. All right, so we're just going all the way around this time. And just under the edge there, I'm going to just pop a little. I do know that. Um, hot melt glue won't go through it so yeah. I'm just going to stick a little bit there just to seal it in place. Yeah that's good. Right now then we're only going to do one half of this but I'm going to show you how we're going to decorate it. Okay. And the first thing is if you look at the concertina obviously you would expect your buggy um, canopy to be the same all the way around so yeah. what I'm going to do first of all is just put a little bit on the back there. Oh okay I see. And I've okay. just cut it to the width of um, the width of the centre okay. piece of the of the uh, pram. Now, of course, if you want to make it wider, or you want to perhaps be able to put a little gift in there or something, you can make this bit as wide as you want. Oh, it of course, to be, really. it could be you know d double the width or whatever. Absolutely. So we're just going to pop that on there. Right now, then, there is a reason why I've chosen that stripy paper, and the reason is this: because I'm going to concertina it. Okay. That's very cunning. And then Beautiful. All we do, very, very simple. I'm just going to concertine those up and then we're going to stick them in place around the front of the canopy. And of course, when you're making this, I'm not going to do this today, but when you're making this for somebody to give, you're going to do exactly the same on the other yeah, side, of course, yeah. on the reverse. Right, so now we've got a nice little concertina here. What we're going to do is we're going to attach it to the front. But what we need to do is to actually move it out as we're attaching oh, it. Oh, okay. So it's going to be attached like that. So what I do is I make sure I've got a nice, a nice full glue gun here and I make sure I've got loads and loads and loads of glue on there. And because it's, because it is quite um, thick, it won't dry straight away. Okay. And that allows me a little bit of manoeuvrability time so I can just manoeuvre it out. And then when it's stuck in place, I would just hold it for a second because as I say, whilst you, when you've done that, um, when you've got a blob of the hot melt glue, it can take a short okay. while to actually dry. And what I tend to do is just go under near the base as well and just put a line there. And that helps me to um, make sure that the, the one edge is, yeah. is sturdy and won't move. 
Good stuff. There we go. And Very I'm just nice. going to finish that off with a little bit of detail. So I've got a button here. And again, this is from one of the Paper Mania charm kits. It's lovely vintage. It's almost like a fake ivory button. Yeah, that's nice. I love it. Yeah. It is. It's really, really, really sweet. Like and I've got a little uh, paper rose, one of our little paper posy roses. That's a bit of a mouthful. Paper like posy roses? Paper posy roses. Yes. It is a little bit of a mouthful, that. And I'm just going to add a bit of ink to Vintage it. map? Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Pop that. And that can just sit nicely and neatly into, into the, the centre. And it, it, it also hides where that little yeah, of course. join is there. Right, now then, a couple of last little things we're going to talk about. First, I'm going to show you how to attach the wheels. Okay. And the wheels are made with uh, the cogs die oh, set that's clever and i've actually found one that looks like i really did look like a wheel yeah. with a spool in the center of it so i've used those they're good but there's loads and loads in there i you think this would be a really masculine die set wouldn't you mm -hmm. but it's actually it's clearly you can use it for all sorts absolutely yeah it's good one. and i've put a little foam circle in the center because okay. it just fits there perfectly and i'm just going to pop that on the edge there very nice. And then I've got, just to, to hide the centre, I've got this lovely pink uh, little circle, which actually I've punched with one of my favourite punches, which is the um, the palm punch, the small circle. Oh. I, use it per, I use it for so many things. Um, when you just need a little embellishment to go somewhere, it's perfect for that. And you can shape them really nicely yeah. as well. And in the centre of that, I've just got a little gem to make it look like it's got, you know, the little, the little nut in the, oh, in yeah. the centre. And then there's just a couple of finishing details. Now, you noticed I was using a die earlier on. Well, this is the Alice Alphabet die. Oh, yes. And I've actually die cut a D. And this is just going to go inside at the front to be the little handle for my carriage. So oh, a little bit of glue clever. there. And we're just going to pop it in there like... That's so very clever. So we've got a little handle on our carriage there. Very nice. And then finishing off, if we just have a look at the finished one, I've pulled out um, a selection of embellishments, um, again from the Bellissima range. So we've got some of the ribbon roses and the bows at the top. And again, I've inched up the bow. It's really easy to do that. And I've dangled on some brown string. I love these, these little metal charms that are in the pack. I That's think there's lovely, isn't bird it? houses, uh, hot air balloons, and then there's this beautiful yeah, butterfly. Yeah, I do like the balloon one. Yeah. And then just at the front, I've added, uh, the, this is the pale pink, but there's these lovely uh, faceted heart gems. Yeah, lovely. And that is really how easy it is to put together. That's fantastic. If you've enjoyed Becky's projects, why not pop over to docrafts.com and you can find a list of all the supplies she's used to make her project there, as well as some great close-up photographs so you can see all of the detail of the project. And if you've been inspired to craft, why not upload your own projects? It's really easy to create your own profile and show off your own creations. We'd also love if you would like our Facebook page. There's loads of great inspiration to be had there, as well as you can interact with lots of other crafters too. Until next time, happy crafting.